All right, y'all, so I'm doing a quick voiceover over this part of the video because I realized after the recording that the voice did not <laughs> did not go through after I recorded the video. But yeah, uh, real quick, I'm, I'm just in a Euro USD trade. And yeah, I'm not going to go over like the analysis of this trade, but for now, we'll just see like how it goes.
y'all, uh, we're back in business. OBS should be picking up my voice now, for sure. Alright y'all, so I'm not gonna take too long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain why I took this trade. So, uh, first of all, it was a buy on EURUSD. So, let me go to the replay mode real quick. So yeah, we have a demand on your USD right here, starting from this candle. So I drew the box all the way to the lower wick. Let me fix that it's the exact T. And I kind of I saw this trade when I woke up. I woke up around like 6:30. So I saw this happening. I could have gotten in right here, but I have a basically I have strict rules where I don't trade until New Year's session starts. And if I would have traded right when this candle broke, this candle right here, I would have gotten stomped out immediately. So it was good that I waited for a New Year's session to actually trade this setup. So yeah, uh, New Year's session didn't start yet. So I got in right here, basically, with my stop loss right there. Uh, one to two right there okay and yeah uh, just let it right out so I like this setup because this broke a swing high this setup broke the swing high so the swing high was right here I broke it and I also saw this happening on the dollar index too and I explained on the previous video that that uh if it's if so the demand the demand on your USD is going to be a supply in, in the dollar index so if they're both happening simultaneously i think that's good confluence they usually work out from what i've back tested so <clears throat> yeah this su this supply right here is the demand that's happening on your USD and yeah it ended up working out. I also liked this setup because because um on the London session we've been going down for a minute and I tend to notice that again that New York likes to reverse the other way. So if London session's been going up, then more more times than not, New York is gonna go down and get liquidity in the bottom or whatever. In this situation London sessions being on a downtrend, so it left all these gaps to fill right here. All these are the gaps. Hold on. <clears throat> all this is gaps. That's a gap right here. That's another gap. So basically, there, let me just do this. From right here, from right here, it's all gaps. This is all a gap that it has to fill. I think New York session is gonna go ahead and fill it. And yeah, that was another extra confluence on why I took this trade. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I almost got stopped out, not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a, a loss for a second because it immediately started going against me. And yeah, I don't... <laughs> if the trade is gonna go your way, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be breaking candles the other way, you know? If you're in a buy, then it shouldn't be breaking candles to the downside. It should be pushing up. Or at least staying like, you know, kind of rejecting. Rejecting to the upside, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's what happened, and the rest was history. That was a that was a seven hundred around a seven hundred dollar win on my FTMO challenge. I know I didn't give an update on, on the FTMO. I started it last Friday, but I took a two percent loss last Friday. I honestly uh broke my rules, so from now on I'm just determined to just stick to my rules and just trade what I trade without overthinking. And yeah, I mean, if you stick to, to your rules, usually good things tend to happen. And that's what happened today.
so definitely back at it tomorrow and I'll try to do another life video life trading video when I can and yeah you guys if you guys enjoy this video please subscribe to the channel I've been seeing a lot of people uh, watching the previous video the previous live euro USD trade that I did if you guys haven't watched it yet I'll leave uh, the description the link down below in the description and I'll keep making the same content like this if you guys had a good trading week or a good trading day I know I'm tired man I'm sorry I'm tired if you guys had a good trading day leave those comments down below too and for sure guys take care and I'll see you guys in the next one